Hello viewers, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Today's recipe is a very special recipe. It's a biryani recipe. So now I'm sure you would have seen all my other biryanis, the mutton biryani, chicken biryani, prawn biryani, egg biryani, soya biryani, vegetable biryani. Today I am going to make fish biryani. Are you ready? Let's get started. taken about 1 kg of sear fish, fresh fish that's been cut up into nice big chunks. First I'm going to marinate it with some turmeric powder, chilli powder, 2 teaspoons, salt. So gently just rub it and let it sit for about half an hour. I'm going to make the fish biryani in a pressure cooker. 2 tablespoons ghee and 1 tablespoon oil. Add bay leaf, a few pieces of cinnamon few cloves, cardamom pods, about four. So I've taken large onions, five chopped finely. So while the onions are browning, I'm going to make the masala paste for the biryani. One large piece ginger chopped, about seven to eight cloves of garlic, three green chilies, three red chilies, two tablespoons grated, fresh grated coconut. Add a little water and grind to a nice paste. So once the onions are brown, add the ground masala paste. So saute it till all the raw smell goes. You can see it's nice and brown. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. I have three medium sized tomatoes that have been finely chopped. Now to this I'm going to add half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon chilli powder, two teaspoons coriander powder, salt to taste. So now I'm going to add one small bunch coriander leaves and one small bunch mint leaves. Once the masala is ready, you can start adding the fish pieces. Handle the fish pieces very, very carefully because they can easily break. Okay, be careful, just gently mix it. 500 ml of rice here that's been washed and soaked for about 30 minutes. Make sure your flame is on low you don't want anything to get burnt at the bottom. Mix it very carefully. You don't want to mix too much and break the rice. 500 ml diluted coconut milk. Now close the pressure cooker. Keep the flame on medium low. Wait for the steam to come and then place the weight and leave it exactly for 5 minutes and turn off the stove. There you have this incredibly delicious fish biryani. Well, try and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook.